Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a small Ulta haul for you guys. Most of the stuff I actually got on their current sale, which is like 40% or um, lower off. So it's like up to 40% off. So I'm excited about the things I got. If you guys are wondering what I got for my Ulta haul, then go ahead and keep watching. Here we go. All right, so let's get into this box. I'm really actually excited about some of the things I got. Um, so the first thing is cotton balls. I got them for my daughter for a project she's doing. Enough said, like it's just cotton balls. The next thing was not on sale. It is one of the new KKW fragrance hearts and this one is rose gold. I love perfumes. I'm actually going to be putting up a perfume collection video soon this week sometime. Could be before this video. I don't even know man it's just gonna be up but I got this one this was $30 this was the only one my Ulta actually carried they had all three on display but only carry the one the other ones are online only I have all of the original hearts like the cute little sweetheart looking ones so I was really excited and then I tried this one and I, I liked it my daughter liked it too Ooh. So pretty. And again, this is, these were $30. So the only thing about this is because it is shiny, it will get dirty so much faster. Ooh. Oh yes, this smells so good. Oh, that reminds me of something. Ooh, I don't know what that reminds me of, but it reminds me of like a perfume I already have. A Chanel maybe? I don't know, but I love this. This smells so good. So this is a contemporary expression of a textured floral bouquet structure. Dosing, dosing, dosing. Dosing in a natural dimension of soft magenta, freesia, petals and silky peony buds that are concentrated by a touch of white moss and for a new type of addiction okay cool either way this smells really good all right so the next thing i got was the kvd beauty which is the edge of reality eyeshadow palette so i got this but this was also on sale I think it was $30. Recycle your palette. Visit kvdbeauty.com to learn how. That's pretty cool. I just thought it was so pretty. So pretty. I haven't bought anything from KVD in like forever. So this is definitely the first time. I think the last time I bought anything Kat Von D. Well, I know it's not Kat Von D anymore. So when I bought it, it was Kat Von D. And it was like literally, it had to be like a year or two years ago. It was a long time. So this is the palette. She's so pretty. I just had to. You have these that are mattes and then these that are just like super shimmery and pretty. So I'm excited to use. So if you guys want to see a look down with this palette, go ahead and let me know down below and I will get it up for you. Okay, so this was on sale for $30. Originally it was $45. The next thing I got was the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Um, TikTok made me buy this, honestly. I've seen so many videos where this apparently just like makes your lashes so crazy so big and it's just like by three layers it's supposed to do that so I did buy this and I will do maybe like a quick review for you guys on it I don't know if you want to see a review on it on YouTube go ahead and let me know if not um, I'll probably put it on Instagram just something quick and that was eleven forty nine. it was actually pretty pricey for a drugstore mascara. So the next thing I got was the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I actually don't use a lot of tinted moisturizers and I've seen this one and I've seen this one and I've seen this one and I finally was like I want to pick it up and just try it because for the summertime wearing so much foundation sometimes can just be really heavy when I just want like a little bit of color or to cover up some of this redness going on. So this was $14, so that's not bad. I mean, it's ColourPop though, so I didn't think it would be too, too bad. All right, now here comes the stuff that was really on sale. So I got this brush that for $14.50, it was half off. Usually it is $29. So I technically got this, so it's $14.50, but I used a coupon, so I paid like $11.60, but price-wise on sale right now, it is $14.50. So it is just a cute little brush lust 10 piece eye brush and bag collection. I'm sure this came with some kind of makeup collection that I don't know about, but I just thought it was so cute. I won't use the bag, but it comes with like a cute little metallic bag. 
But I thought $14.50 for 10 eyebrushes. I'm here for it. So we have, oh, I love this for me. Oh, this is gonna be perfect, like right in here to place color. Ooh, this is so cute. It's very just tiny. Let's do it here. It's a tiny blending brush. Oh my gosh, it's tapered. It's nice and loose, so it'll blend really nicely. Okay, and we have another little angle brush. That's actually not bad. I won't use it for my brows because it's not stiff enough, but it's very thin, so it'll be nice for a liner. Also, I wanted to show you guys what my husband got me because he's so cute. So our anniversary was the 28th. He got me this little bee necklace. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in for you guys to see, but it's a little bee necklace. And then he got me a matching little bee bracelet. So I thought that was so cute. And then we got, I guess this is like a shader brush, packing brush. And then this, I don't, I don't actually know what this is. It's plastic. Oh, this is a silicone glitter packer brush. Get perfectly blended mess free glitter application with the silicone brush. <gasps> That's awesome. If you guys have used something like this, let me know down below. I've never used something like that in my whole entire makeup life. Ooh, so here is the other brush. I don't really know what I would use this brush for. It's kind of weird. It kind of goes up diagonally. So maybe like, I don't, I don't honestly know. Oh, I have all kinds of my old mascara up there, huh? And then we have a cute little packing brush. It's just a tiny one. I actually have one like this from them, but it's in their regular collection. And then we have a blending brush, tapered. Always nice to have. I love that these are gold too, so pretty. And then we have oh, just a small packing brush or a thicker pencil brush almost, but it's a little bit more dense than the other ones. Another angled brush. I don't, I don't understand why this is angled. Maybe to get like here, so you get it like perfectly under the brows. I don't know what I would use this brush for, but it's fluffy and it's cut at an angle, but it's very tiny. It's like an angle brush, but deluxe okay so we have another blending brush and these this one and this one look like two of my favorite brushes from their collection so we have the tapered one and then the rounded blending brush which i love them they're so good i'm excited for new brushes i don't think i've gotten new brushes in like so long so i'm excited for these for sure so i guess we'll stick with the brushes i got um more brushes so yes yes i did i love makeup brushes i but i haven't gotten any for so long and i just saw them on sale and i was like oh my god yes i love this for me right now so this is the m523 oh yes it is a tapered powder brush. This is usually $7, I got it for $8, $17, I got it for $8.50. So I really love this. Oh, this is gonna be like perfect under the eye. Like, just do, 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 do. All right, so I got two of the M518s. They are just, like I said, one of my favorite. These are the more round packing brushes. They do round out a little bit more once you start using them. This is what that one round gold one reminded me of. And those were $4 each. Yes, because they're usually eight. So I guess I got these for like 50% off. Oh, not 40. Okay. And then I got two of the Phi M513s, which is just like that tapered blending brush that was in the gold set. So it's more tapered than the other one. And these were also only $4. Yeah. So, and these are some of my favorite brushes. So for them to be on sale, I'm really excited, but I'm hoping like they're not discontinuing them or something because that would make me sad. But that's why I bought so many. When I see stuff like on killer sale, I immediately think that they're being discontinued and I'm like, I need 80 of them now. I have problems and then I got the M503 this is just a pro firming um, blending brush blending blending fluff but I'm trying to get them so you can see because they've been packaged and smushed without you 
So this is just, it reminds me of the MAC 217. So it's more flat, but it is a blending brush to just be able to blend it up here in the crease a little bit better. So I got two of those and those were also $4. So score on the brushes, Jamie, score on the brushes. So the next thing is Uma Beauty Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. I have actually never tried this brand, but I have seen it all over the internet. And then Ulta is real big on promoting them. I do know that it's a very inclusive brand, so that is exciting. I got this on sale for $15, but I've heard really, really good things about it. So I'm excited to try it out. So that is the concealer I think this might actually be a little bit too dark for me <laughs> it's too dark I have to... oh no I think it's gonna be too yeah for sure it's almost my skin tone guys so I will have to return that and exchange it if they I don't know if they do exchanges right now because I the pandemic but I might have to actually return this for a lighter shade but it actually has a really nice consistency and I'm kind of excited that I tried that on my hand because like that was really nice and it doesn't have a weird smell like most foundations but I will have to return that one unfortunately and get a lighter shade it just looked a lot lighter online than it did right there like that was almost my skin tone so I got the next things are lip oils from ColourPop it doesn't look like they're on sale anymore or maybe they are I don't know it's saying 640 is what they're on sale for but I'm pretty sure I only got these for like four dollars or something but it's not it's not showing on my receipt that it was on sale but these were definitely on sale so I got the ColourPop lip oil in Rain Cheek and then I got First Date. I love lip oils for sure and if I can get them tinted even better and then I got Smirk. I haven't gotten anything from ColourPop in so long and I was just like oh well they're on sale why not. So we have a clear glittery purple and then we have like a mauve color and then a peachy color so I'm really excited for these. Let's try one. Let's try it out. So they smell nice. They have like a little flat applicator. And this is Smirk. Usually with me, in order for a tinted lip oil or balm to show up, it has to be like super like red or something. But this, these are nice. It feels really nice. I like it. It's definitely something I would wear on a regular and like not something you would wear to like bed. It's definitely not a balm. It's more of a glossy oil. So to the beach or just out running errands or something like that. So the next thing is a Boss Matte Lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics. They're no longer on sale, but it was on sale in my Ulta for $8. So I went ahead and I got that. It's just a red bullet lipstick and it is a matte formula and the next thing is a camo sponge concealer by elf and this was also not on sale but i mean i think it was like three dollars let me look yeah it was like five bucks so it's really not that bad but i've seen a lot of people use it and i think it's like really cute so i'm excited to see how it works i wonder how big it gets because this is so tiny like do 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 but i feel like it's perfect for like up in here, up in here, and getting like around these areas cause it's pointy. So I'm excited for that. And then these two, woo! So I love makeup erasers. I am a big fan of makeup erasers. I will always love makeup eraser. And I think that they do a really good thing for the environment. I think that they're great to use. They're way better than makeup wipes and they're way better for your skin than makeup wipes. But I got these on sale. They were half off. They weren't half off. So these were $14 a piece and they are originally $20. So I did grab these. So the last items or item is the Missed Me, Missed You Morphe setting spray. This is just the continuous um, setting spray. So these are my favorite, favorite, favorite setting sprays. I say it all the time on my channel. It just is what it is. But I got one was $10. So each one was $10, but you got a whole setting spray and a mini one in here for 10 bucks. So the only difference between these and the original is the packaging, I believe. I don't think there's anything different. I believe that they're the same setting. I actually might leave the minis and get put those in a giveaway, but. Mm -hmm. No, that definitely smells different than the other one. Hold on. Okay, these smell different. Okay, so honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if these are the same. I'm a little confused. They smell different. 
the bottle shape is different the bottle height is different so if you guys know if these are the same and this is just like a limited edition package let me know below but either way i got the whole set for ten dollars so i'm willing to give it a try hopefully it's just as good but let me know like i said down below if you guys know what the difference between these are because i would really hate to think that this is like my favorite setting spray and it's completely different so like i said i am going to be keeping this one for a giveaway in the future but i'm excited for that like i said they were 10 bucks for a full size setting spray and a mini one so i was really excited about that because these are 16 bucks but that is it guys for my mini ulta haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video every saturday and i'll see you guys on the next one bye